One segment of the U.S. economy is booming housing. A leading index has found that U.S. home prices were up nearly 17 percent from the year before. The Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said on Wednesday the housing sector remains very strong. He said before that Fed policies contribute to higher home prices. It is not just the United States. The IMF data shows double-digit year-on-year growth in Turkey and Luxembourg. Prices are sharply rising along in Croatia, Austria and Germany. Rand Schneider is with me, CEO of Rheology, who joins me now. Uh, good to have you, sir. This is interesting because when we were, you know, I was just talking about the GDP numbers. Um, this time last year, or Q2 and Q3, worried about this. People couldn't find renters, people moving out of cities. And would you say it's a 180 degree turn? It is, Richard. Thank you for having me on the show. You know, uh, Q2 of last year was a historic decline in housing. Q2 of this year, the market here in the U.S. was up 50 percent. We at Realogy were up 80 plus percent as we gained some market share. And the housing market has been quite strong. Consumer demand for housing is high. And it is obviously one of the bright spots in the economy. Right, but is it in, is the rising tide lifting all boats? Or are places like New York, which did have a lot of people move out, are they still lagging? Don't get me wrong, there is a recovery underway, but it is not as great in housing prices. It's not equal across the country. You're absolutely right. Places like Florida and Texas, some of the attractive tax and weather destinations, the suburbs, they are on fire. New York City has gotten back to kind of positive growth in Q2 of 2021, but it's still lagging the rest of the country. So it definitely is not evenly distributed, but it is substantially up um, compared to a year ago. Uh, and the early demand for July that we reported this morning remains strong, which makes us excited for the rest of the year on housing still. Right. But are we seeing, do you think, my words, not yours, irresponsible lending yet? Are we seeing promiscuous loans being made, which ultimately will come back to bite the market? Absolutely not, Richard, is my belief. You know, our mortgage business has not changed their credit standards throughout this. And I said on my earnings call this morning, unlike 15 years ago, the consumer demand for housing right now is real. It's real consumer demand. It is not the speculation that led to a lot of the challenges the U.S. market had 15 years ago. It's real consumer demand as people are working from home, moving to different locations because of that, and moving to places like the suburbs, Texas, Florida, in greater numbers. And as someone who was in banking for 15 years before joining real estate, I'm incredibly passionate about us keeping our good lending standards. And this relationship between working from home, um, you know, we're going through this issue, a very real issue. We're going through it now, if you like, of companies deciding who they'll let work from home, the hybridization of the work environment. Could this have an effect if companies insist that workers are back in the office? Now, the commercial real estate people will be delighted. Will that have an effect on house prices? Will it take the froth? It could, but my prediction is it's not. We are an example of that. We as a company had a couple percent of people working from home before the pandemic started. Post Labor Day, we're gonna be substantially work from home as a company and gonna to continue to push very hard on that. And we see that happening with a lot of companies and we think it's a trend that's here to stay. Ryan, finally, um, I know you don't wanna force anybody to do anything they don't want to do, but where do you stand and where does Rheology stand on vaccine mandates. And I'll take away the word mandate uh, in case you find that a pejorative. Where do you stand on requiring your employees to be vaccinated? We're, the health of our employees, agents, franchisees is the number one thing. We, have, we do not have a vaccine requirement yet. Uh, we have a number of health and safety requirements and we are watching the situation very closely. Good to see you. Thank you, sir.